Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here. Welcome back to another episode of the Colorado Avalanche Be a GM. We're into the playoffs here, just about to start actually. Uh, we're going to be playing the Chicago Blackhawks. If you guys watched the last episode, you would have seen that I actually covered everything in terms of team versus team, exactly how we stack up. Things are pretty even across the board, so I'm really looking forward to jumping right in here. So let's get this started. Here we go. Game one in Colorado. Remember, we're the President's Trophy winners right now, so let's get this thing started and let's win this. First period. Oh, 2 nothing. Nick Letty and LeBlanc. I don't know who this is. Damian LeBlanc or something like that. He scores. So we're down 2 nothing. Not good. Second period. 3-3. Three, three. Oh, what a comeback. Marion Hosa scores early, but we get answers from Barry, McKinnon, and Conacher. We go to the third period. We'll slow things down here. Actually, we'll go one minute at a time. 30 seconds. Oh, Kostka scores. All right, we got time to come back into this. Come on, boys. You got a three-goal second period. Let's score at least one here in the, four, in the third. Come on. Four minutes left. Come on. Ah, oh, no late game heroics. They outshot us by a thin margin there, but that was enough. That goal by Koska early in the third was enough to put them over us. So we dropped the first game down one nothing in this series. That is okay. As long as we can take a win from our home building here. That's that's the most important part. Uh, I'll do our scouting here. We're scouting the OHL. Um, OHL. Okay, so top 10. Uh, let's check defense. First rounder. First round. Um, any other people that we haven't scouted yet? They got a top 10 in Quinville. United States. I guess we could scout Whitmore a little bit more. So let's scout Whitmore. Three weeks. All right, so game two again in Colorado. Here's our opportunity to tie this series up. First period. No goal scored. Wow, did we outshoot them. 17 to 5 through one period. That's insane. A 12 goal lead, or 12 shot lead. Second period. Let's build on that, guys. Come on. There, oh, 1-1. One, one. Marion Hosa again and Nathan McKinnon for us again. So we go to the third period, tied 1-1. One, one. Tied for the second time in a row. Hopeful. Oh, god damn it. Nick Letty scores. Come on, guys. Quit battling from behind. We need some goals here. Oh my god, Jimmy Hayes, the power forward scores. Eight eight minutes left. I don't know if we have enough time to come back in this one. We've been having a hard time scoring on Semyon Varlamov. Or sorry, on um, who's in net for them? It's probably, let's see if it's going to be uh, Crawford. Yeah, it was Crawford. He made 38 saves in that game at a 974 save percentage. Varlamov was just not up to the task. This is not good, guys. We are down two games to none. Going into game three. In Chicago, a tough barn to play in. All right, let's give this a shot. Here we go. Come on. Load, 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 load. Let's give it a shot here. First period of game three in Chicago. Here we go. No goal scored. Again, out shooting them, doubling them up 14 to 7 through one period. Second period. Oh my God. 3 0. Hosa, Hayes, and Shaw all score. Uh, I'm going to go time six, I guess. We need three goals here to tie things up. This is a terrible playoff. I cannot believe this at all. Just horrible. And time is ticking down. Just going to sim. Shut out in that game. 3 nothing. we lose to the Chicago Blackhawks. Um, something needs to be done here. Something needs to be done. Let's go to... Let's do this. Let's take a look. Do we change... Oh, what? whoa, 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 whoa. Why is Nathan McKinnon on the top line? Did we do that? Let's change it up. Let's put Duchesne back. Let's put McKinnon with Berchi and Tarasenko. I don't remember if I did that or not. Maybe I did. Uh, defense, Myers and Johnson. Okay, fine. Let's try that again. And let's see if that gives us any kind of help here. We need it. We need to come back here. It's not impossible, but we're definitely put ourselves in a very, very tough spot. Very tough spot indeed. So game four in Chicago, an absolutely crucial point in time here. Let's see if we can do this, initiate this comeback. Here we go. First period. 3-2. to two. That's much better. Vladimir Tarasenko, Patrick Kane, and Cam Fowler all have goals for us. Brandon Saad and Corey Emerton, they both score for the, uh, the, the Blackhawks. We're out shooting them big time, but the goaltending has been very, very shaky for us. Two goals on six shots. That's terrible. Second period. 4-3. to three. Okay, so we maintain our lead. P.A. Parento scores. Matt Duchesne gets the go-ahead goal on the power play. Uh, we're 18 to 18 the shots now, so things have, the gap is closed. Much better period from Varlamov. All right, we go to the third period. We'll go slower. We got a lead here, so let's maintain this. Let's get one for insurance, just to make sure that we've got a lead on these guys a little bit extra. You know, don't want to have it come down to a tie with the last few minutes left. Come on, guys, hold them off. There you go. 
excellent period. Good job, Varlamov. He started off really shaky, uh, but he ends up shutting the door, making uh, three say or th only only letting in three goals in that game. That's much much better. Thank you very much. All right, so I'm gonna keep the lines as is. We're gonna keep McKinnon with Kane, or sorry, McKinnon with Tarasenko and Berchi, and see if maybe uh, that'll help those two light it up a bit, and maybe Duchesne with. Uh, Patrick Kane will help a little bit here. All right, so game four now, or game five, sorry, game five in in Colorado. So we're back at home. Let's jump right in. All right, first period here in Colorado. We can't we get the fans rallying around us for this one. The comeback has been queued. Here we go. Three nothing the score. Corey Conacher and Jamie McGinn has a pair of his own. That's an excellent start to this period or this game. Second period. 3-2. Oh, God. Vogelmoff now has let in a couple goals. Uh, Andrew Shaw and Patrick Sharp. We go to the third period now. We got, we're up a goal. We held the lead last game. Can we do that again here? It looks like Chicago's really taken to us on the shot clock. Varlamov standing on his head right now. 31 shots against. There you go. Sven Berchi lights the lamp on Peters. Oh, and they get a late one from Kruger. Time ticking. Oh my god, another 4-3 win. I don't know that we necessarily deserve that one. Varlamov looked like he did really well. Did he get a star? I don't know. I didn't really stop to check, but hey, we're back in this series, guys. 3-2 now is the series lead, so we got two more wins to get here. We can do this. This is our series right here, right now. Alright, here we go. First period of game six. Let's go, guys. Come on. 1-0, there you go, Ryan O'Reilly gets a goal, looks like we've kept them off the, the clock, even though they've got 10 shots, unbelievable, second period, 2-1, okay, we're still got the lead, LeBlanc scores, but Berchi has the answer, we're going to the third, can we hold them off here, we've done really well so far when we've got the lead going, to, oh, Andrew Shaw scores on a deflection, grinder, he scores a lot for a grinder, 10 minutes left, time ticking down here, only 5 minutes left here in the third period, going to, going to OT now, come on guys, one goal here in OT, and you got yourselves back in the series. There you go, Ryan O'Reilly. He started the game, and he finishes the game in overtime. And the Colorado Avalanche are going to Game 7. We forced it now. That's excellent. That's the comeback we were looking for. All right. One more game. That's all we need. Here we go. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's start this game. First period of Game 7. Let's go. 1-0 the score. Matt Duchesne, I'm finally seeing your name come up here. There you go. 1-0 the score. Wow, we got outshot big time. 18-5 through one period. Let's step it up. Second period. Oh, they tied it up. You know what? We had a lot of shots in that one as well. We did not bat them. I mean, we had 11 shots. They only had three, but they managed to score on one of them. We're going to slow this down to only four times. The score tied 1-1. We need a goal. Here in the third. There you go. Patrick Kane scores. Good to see our top offensive players producing. We got a lead here, but don't let off yet. Oh my god, Brandon Sad scores. Come on, guys. 12 minutes left here. There you go, Jared Stoll scores from the third line. Jared Stoll, unbelievable. Or sorry, fourth line. He's playing on the fourth line. That's right, five minutes left. Time ticking down. Can they hold them off? And they do! The Colorado Avalanche have come back and beat the Chicago Blackhawks in seven games. What a comeback. Unbelievable. Let's sim up two days here. Let's find out who we're going to be playing in round two. Wow, okay, the Winnipeg Jets is who we're going to be taking on in this next round, all right? That's not too bad at all, not too bad at all. Let's take a look at the uh, view lines, and let's compare the teams, and we'll get started on this right away. All right, so let's take a look there. All right, just memorize it. Good. Let's go to Winnipeg. All right, so the top line of Shifley, Ladd, and Wheeler, we've got them beat. Um, the second line is pretty close, considering that there are, they've got a Vander Kane there, and he's a sniper, and he's playing, you know, he's an 86 overall, so he's really high. Um, the third and fourth lines, though, we have beat. So I think we've got one, they've got two, we've got three, four. Uh, defense, they've got the top pairing. Ah, it's pretty close. Second pairing is pretty close again. Third pairing, also very close. So I think that the number, the defense is all really even on that side. Goaltending, though, we've got them beat. They've got Andre Pavlak at, eight, Pavlak at 82, and um, who am I? I'm Colorado. Wrong way. Hold on. And I think he's an 84, right? Yeah, 84, and Picard is an 83. Depending on how this series goes, we may just put um, Picard in net, because Varlamov really has not been playing very well for us. So, I mean, he yeah, he got us to the comeback, but he also lost three games. That's not what we want out of a President's Trophy winning, you know, goaltender. So, all right, guys, without further ado, let's jump here into game one against the Winnipeg Jets. 
Okay, first period in Colorado. Oh my god, we 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 give up three goals on 12 shots. Terrible goaltending from Varlamov. Unbelievable. Second period. One goal. Okay, Matt Duchesne gets us back in this. I'm going to go to six times here. I know this probably isn't going to result in a win for us. Oh, there you go. Patrick Kane with a goal now. Found the net on Pavlik. They don't have the strongest goaltending. Ah, and Evander Kane now scores. And Setaguchi scores. I'm just going to sim to the end of the period at this rate. Oh, wow. We came back pretty close. Five to four was the final. So we do have an option here. Um, or we, we did have an option of scoring on him, and we managed to pull it off. So it's not like we're playing Crawford. Crawford was solid in net. I'm going to make a goaltending change here right now. Varlamov has been shaky. He's driving me crazy. Let's switch the goalies out. Let's put Picard in net. Maybe we'll play better in, in front of a worse goaltender. So let's see how this works. Picard in net. Varlamov, you're going to ride the pine. You've been playing terrible. You can't let in five goals. You can't. All right, here we go. Game two again in Colorado. Will we have better fortunes with Picard? First period. All right, so Picard surrenders a goal on Blake Wheeler on nine shots. That's okay. That's only one goal. It's not three. Second period. 1-1, one, one. Gabriel Aniskog scores on Pavlik. All right, we're going to the third period here. It's game tied 1-1. One, one. We need a win out of this series right in the right off the get-go. I'm getting sick and tired of losing these first two games. It's tough to play from behind like that, especially when the next two wins have to come on the road. Going to overtime now, no goals in the third. Can we do it? Power play goes, comes and goes. Halfway through OT now. Looks like pa uh, Picard's playing really well in net for us. Two minutes left. One minute left. All right, we're going to double OT. Can there you go. Tyson Berry scores on Andres Pavlik. Unbelievable game for Picard. He's going to be first star. There's no doubt about it. Let's take a look. Three stars. Calvin Picard, a 971 save percentage. That's the kind of production we need from a goaltender. So I'm thinking Picard's going to get another game based on his performance. We now split the series. We go to Winnipeg. 1-1. Game three. Here we go. First period. All right, 1-1 one, one the score. It looks like Evander Kane found the net, and so did Jamie McGinn. Second period. 3-2. to two. So they got a couple in. Ryan O'Reilly scores. Is that his second one? No, it was McGinn that got the first one. All right, we're going to go to the third period. Time six. Can we score some more here? Can we tie this up? We're down 3-2. to two. There you go. Eric Johnson rips the net. Rips the net. Pa oh, rips a goal past Pavlik. Then they score again. Matt Duchesne on Pavlik. All right, Picard. Hang in there. Stay strong. Four minutes left. Not much time left. 5-3. There you go. Tyler Myers scores. And that is it. The comeback in the third period. Three unanswered goals on the Winnipeg Jets. And it looks like we've got our goalie right now. It looks like Picard is going to be playing for us to come. So we're up 2-1 to one in this series now. Go to game four in Winnipeg. All right. Another win on the road would be huge for us coming back home. First period. 2-2 two, two the score. Okay, so McKinnon scored two. Shifley scored two. Second period. Oh, Setaguchi and Klingberg both score. They now have a two-goal lead. We can do this, though. We've come back from, was it, oh, five to two. Klingberg scores again. This might be too much of a deficit. Oh, Ryan O'Reilly pots one there. 14 minutes left. 12. Oh, Eric Johnson. I may have spoken too soon. Eric Johnson scores. Six minutes left. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can tie it. They tie it up. Unbelievable. Jared Stoll. 5-5. Five, five. We're going to OT. And they do it. Nathan McKinnon scores. Was that the hat trick for McKinnon? It was. Unbelievable comeback. <laughs> I wrote them off. I cannot believe what just happened here. Let's take a look at the, first, the three stars. Nathan McKinnon with the hat trick. Eric Johnson with three points of his own. Carl Klinberg with two. A very good performance, but just not enough. Unbelievable. Pavlik had an 806 and Picard had an 833. So Picard not a great game in net, but you know what? The goal scorers got it done for him in this one. Unbelievable comeback. Unbelievable. So we're up three games to one after losing the first one. So we have an opportunity here now to beat the Winnipeg Jets and we're in our home rink here at the Pepsi Center in Denver, Colorado. First period. 3-2, we're down. Okay, so it looks like Picard let in a few, uh, but Patrick Kane's got a couple for himself. Second period. No goal scored at all. We're getting outshot big time. We need to have an answer here in the third. Come on, guys. Let's shut them down here in game five. Let's finish them off. Let's send them back. And there you go. Sven Barchi rips one past Pavlik. Ten minutes left in the third. Oh, Blake, Blake Wheeler finds the net pass Picard. Seven minutes left. We've come back from worse. Come on, guys. One more goal. Oh, that is the way it will end. 42 to 28, we were outshot. I think Picard did really well in keeping us in this. Um, just not enough. Not enough of an answer for us. We do have another opportunity here to put them away before we have to go to Game 7. So, whoops, I'll do the scouting when I get there. Let's go to GM Options. Scouting. 
Scout assignment. All right. So we just did uh, the United States. There we go. And there is a top 10 there. He's got three and a half green stars. Is there anybody else out there that's be considered, you know, top? Sorry, I bumped the mic. Russia's got some forwards. Let's take a look at Russia for three weeks, okay? Let's take a look there. All right. So, game six now in Winnipeg. I don't care how we win them. If we win them on the road, we win them on the road. But we need to win the games. Here we go. First period. Two nothing or two nothing. We're up. Oh my goodness! Sorry, I, I forgot to hit the right trigger to go to goals, and I saw all these events going on. What the hell happened? Two nothing. All right, good start, good start. Second period, four nothing. Vladimir Tarasenko and Eric Johnson both score. Unbelievable. We go to the third period now. Can we shut out the Winnipeg Jets? Tyson Berry scores early in the third. Oh, Froelich manages to find the net. Picard, sorry, there goes the shutout, but that's okay. Ten minutes left. As long as we don't let in four goals here in the last half. There you go. Down he scores. This looks like it will be signed, sealed, and delivered. Oh, Postma scores on Picard late. That's not going to be enough, though. There you go, boys. Colorado Avalanche now are going to the round three after beating the Winnipeg Jets. What a series that was. I cannot believe that we came, well, that we pushed so hard, especially in that game where we came back down 5-2 to win 6-5 to in, was it overtime? Yeah, overtime. And Nathan McKinnon, the hero in overtime. We're going to be playing the Los Angeles Kings in the Western Conference Finals. I think I'm going to try and fit the whole playoffs into this video. That's what I'm going to try and do here. So let's compare teams first. I don't like to split, you know, playoffs up into two different videos. It's just not not interesting enough for you guys, you know. Uh, oops, not this. We want to go coaching options and view lines. Um, something tells me the Los Angeles Kings are going to be a very difficult opponent for us. Let's go to Los Angeles. Yeah, Kopitar, Williams, and Brown. You know what? It's pretty close, uh, but I give them the edge. Second line, absolutely, they've got us beat. Look at Richards and Carter. Two 88 players playing on the second line. That tells you about their depth and down the middle. Um, third line, we've got them beat, and the fourth line, we've got them beat, but their top two pairing, their top two lines are better than ours. Uh, top line, they've got us beat. Second line, even. Third line, even. So they, this is going to be a tough one. And then the goaltending, yeah, Jonathan Quick, a 91 overall. We're going to have a tough go here against the Los Angeles Kings. Definitely our most difficult opponent yet. Um, mind you, you could argue that with Chicago. They were, they gave us a real run for our money. All right, guys. Game one against the Los Angeles Kings here in the Western Conference Finals. First period. 2-0 the score. Patrick Kane and Jamie McGinn both find the net behind Quick. Unbelievable. Second period. 4-2. to Okay, so Picard lets in two, but it looks like McKinnon and Myers both score. We go to the third period. We'll slow things down to time six. A minute per sim. And that's this will hopefully carry us over. Ten minutes left. Halfway through. We've still got a two-goal lead here. Those can evaporate quickly. There's one. Vay scores. Come on, guys. Hold him off. Help Picard shut down. There you go. 4-3 the final in game one. Our first game one victory of the playoffs so far. That is a very good turn of events. Calvin Picard now registers his fifth win of the series of the, the playoffs. He is definitely our goalie right now. Varlamov is, is just playing terrible. He has come in and absolutely ha held his own here in the playoffs. First period of game two. Two nothing to score again. Nathan McKinnon lights the lamp. Conacher with one of his own. Look at the shots. 21 shots in the first period on Jonathan Quick. Second period. Three to one. Patrick Kane scores. Uh, McGinn scored on us. But look at the shots, 35 to 15. We're more than double right now. Third period will slow things down. We got a two-goal lead here in the third period. We haven't registered a shot. Yep, there you go. Dustin Brown scores. Tons of time left. We need to score here. We need a bit of an insurance here. I don't. Picard's good, but I don't trust him quite enough to hold a one-goal lead through three a whole period. There you go. Cam Fowler with the empty net. Unbelievable. I think Cal Calvin Picard definitely is the story of these playoffs. Like, un insane. Is he a star? Yeah, there you go. 929 is his save percentage. That's incredible. And we win that game now 4-2. to two. So Patrick Kane leading in stats. Calvin Picard with his sixth win. We go to game three in Los Angeles. This will be a real test for us. Uh, you know, the Staples Center is a tough building to play in. First period. one nothing to score. Sven Berchi gets a quick shot off net. And he gets one in. Second period. Still one nothing. We hold them off. We're doubled their shot count pretty much. We go to the third period with a one goal lead. Can we take it to them? Let's get them on the brink here, guys. Let's put them down three games to none. Ten minutes left in the third period. Hold off for Picard here. He needs this. This will be a confidence booster. There you go. Steve Downey scores. A minute left. Nathan McKinnon scores. <laughs> hold them off. There you go. Calvin Picard registers his first career playoff shutout. 
I don't even think he had a shutout during the regular season, and now he's got one during this one. Unbelievable. Game four now, and we can sweep this series against the Los Angeles Kings. The team that we thought would be the, give us the most problems has ended up being the easiest team to beat. Uh, he's not up there for save percentage, is he? No, which is remarkable. Uh, but he is up there for goals against average. That's really good. Um, we're up there. Johnson and McKinnon are both up there for points. Um, where else we got it? Assists. Kane, Landeskog, and Johnson all up there for assists. Nathan McKinnon's got eight goals, almost a tied for the league lead, league lead uh, behind Jeff Carter and Thomas Vanek, I guess. All right, here we go, guys. Game four in LA. An opportunity here to sweep the series. First period. one nothing. we score again. Every single game we've had the first goal, and it's been crucial. Second period. Oh, no. Justin Williams scored a couple of his own. We go to the third period for the first time down in this series, uh, or down in a game. Going into the third period during this round of the playoffs. Ah, uh, 3-1. Jeff Carter scores again. His 11th of the, of the playoffs. And that's probably going to do it. Three minutes left. One minute. And that is it. 3-1 we lost. Mind, mind you, we got outshot huge. 42-24. to That's a big gap. And I think that you can't really blame Picard for giving up three goals and 42 shots. That's still a good performance by him despite the loss. All right. Game five. We didn't sweep him, but we have an opportunity to beat him in our home building. First period. Oh, we're down one nothing for the first time here. Okay, so we got a bunch of firsts. We outshot them 14 to 4. Picard led in one goal on four shots. Not great. Second period. So it's one nothing still. We're still out shooting them. We go to the third now. We're gonna slow it down here. Come on, guys. One goal is all it'll take for us to get us back in it. Absolutely. It's within reach. Picard is on fire. There you go. Cam Fowler scores with six minutes left. We got four minutes left here in the third. And we're going to OT. Can we do this? Come on, guys. It's only going to take one goal. Colorado Avalanche have that ability. You got all kinds of scorers. You got Patrick Kane. You got Tarasenko. You got Berchi. You got Nathan McKinnon. Oh, my goodness. First overtime out. Oh, my God. Damn it. Martinez scores on, his, on the 39th shot of the game for the Los Angeles Kings. And they're all of a sudden pushing back. Down three games to none. They've won two in a row. We go to game six in LA. Again, a very tough building to play in. First period, 1-1 one, one the score. All right, Jarrett stolen to Folly Bow score. Second period, no goal scored at all. Shots are relatively close. They got a slight edge. We go to the third period here. Guys, come on. This is your third opportunity to beat them. Don't let this one slip through the cracks. You've got them on the ropes. You can do this. Seven minutes left. Five, four, three, two, one. We go to overtime again. There you go. Patrick Kane scores on Jonathan Quick, and that's all it took. There you go, guys. We're going to go to the Stanley Cup Finals with your Colorado Avalanche. I know this video is running long, but everybody wants to see how the Colorado Avalanche are going to do. I know I do. Patrick Kane with 20 points in these playoffs. And we're going to be playing the Washington Capitals in the finals. Uh, they had nearly as many points as we did. The only thing that gave us the edge was our... Oops. Was our losses in overtime. We had a few more than they did. In fact... We had five more losses in overtime, and they had five fewer, so we ended up with five extra points. So that's why we've got the lead on there. But they are, they'll be a formidable opponent. There's no doubt about it. Let's go to uh, coaching options. Let's view the lines. Um, NHL. And uh, Washington. They're not far. They shouldn't be far away. There you are. So the top line of Backstrom, Ovechkin, and Erat, I think they've got us beat just in the fact that Ovechkin's 94 and Backstrom's 89. Second line is ours. Third line is theirs because they've got Brooks Like playing the third line as an 85. Pardon me, 85 overall. Uh, you know what? I think we might have them beat just because we have a more balanced attack. But their their fourth line of Grabowski, Perot, and Latestu. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that the, that we've got, that they've got us beat there too. Uh, defense, Carlson and Green. We're better than them. Second line of Peckham and Alzner. I think we've got them, and the third line we do as well. Uh, goaltending. Holtby's at 85, so they've got us beat right now on goaltending. So it's going to be an interesting series here again. Last time I said that, we ended up destroying the Los Angeles Kings, but we have an opportunity here to win the Stanley Cup in, what is this, year three? It's year three. So let's do it here, guys. Let's jump right into game one. All right, first period. Come on, Picard. This is your series, buddy. 2-1. Okay, so Ovechkin scores a couple. Tarasenko scored for us. Second period. No goal scored at all. So third period, we gotta score one here. I'd like to, I'd like to take one on the at home. I'd like to take both at home if, if possible. 
but I need at least one. And the first one usually sets the tone for the entire series. We're getting outshot big time here. And there you go, Brooks like scores. And I'll skim. Yeah, 4 1 the final. Babchuk scores to cap things off. 40 shots against. You know what? Our defense has to do better. They have to find a way to shut them down a little bit more than that. That's not good enough. All right. One goal is not enough to win this series. Game two here in Colorado. Again, we need one on we need one at home. First period. There you go. 3-2 the score now. Stoll, Landeskog, Berchi both score. Ovechkin had another one. And Letestu, second period. 4-3. All right. Patrick Kane rips one by. And Iraq gets one. We go to the third period. We're getting outshot big time. But that's not reflected on the score clock right now. We got a lead. 14 minutes left. Halfway through the second. There you go. Patrick Kane scores again on Braden Helpy. Oh, my God. Time ticking down. Can we tie the series up? There you go. And we do. Series tied at one, even though we were outshot 38 to 30, we still registered a good number of shots on net, which I think is a huge was a huge part of us being able to score. And then Calvin Picard standing on his head in net, stopping all those shots for us was huge. All right, game three now in Washington. First period. All right, we're down two nothing. Grabowski and Latestu both score. Second period. No goal scored at all in that period for either team. Third period now shots very close. Come on, guys. This is not far off. You guys can beat him. Braden Holtby is beatable. He's not Corey Crawford. Ten minutes left in the third. Come on, guys. One late here. Five minutes. There you go. Berchi scores. There's time left. Ah, uh, not enough. So 2-1 the final in that one. It looks like, yeah, we were outshot slightly in that one again. Did, uh, yeah. No, Braden Holtby got the, the star because he only let in one. But uh, we're now down two games to one as we go to game three or game four in Washington. I'd like to get one more win here before we come back to our our barn. First period, 1-1 one, one the score. All right, Backstrom and Berchi both score. Second period, uh, Backstrom scores again. We go to the third period here. We're getting out, or we're out shooting by a little bit. Come on, guys. This is only one goal. You can do this. There you go. Sven Berchi scores again. He is lighting the lamp right now. Can he get the hat trick here to win us the game before the third's over? Come on, boys. Oh my god, we're going to overtime. I can't have... There you go! Tyson Berry scores on Holpe. What a playoff by Hol uh, Berry. He's come up big for us in a number of occasions. Unbelievable. Series tied now at 2. We go to Game 5 and we're in our barn. Here we go. First period of Game 5 in Colorado. No goal scored again. 12-6 to six were the total shots. Second period. 1-1 one, one the score. Berchi again. Brooks Like finds the net too. Here we go. Third period, slowing things down a little bit. Halfway through the third with no goal scored. Five minutes remaining. Come on, Colorado. One goal here. All right, go to OT. We can do this here. We've been, we've done well in OT so far. Come on, guys. Ten minutes left in OT. Five minutes. Still no goal scored. We go to second OT. Oh, Nick Backstrom scores on Calvin Picard. The shots were so close. Back and forth affair. The goalies are going to be stars. Holtby and Picard absolutely standing on their heads in the finals here. We're going to game six. All right, guys, we're down three games to two. We have to win these both back to back. Um, anybody worth scouting now? Not really. I was looking at forwards in Russia, right? That's what I was looking at. And they've got a couple... Nobody there. WHL. Any defense that are worth drafting? Let's let's scout here. Let's scout here for a month. WHL defenseman, all right? Or for three weeks. All right, so we go to, like I said, we go to game six here in Washington. We need to go to game seven if we want to win the Stanley Cup. Here we go. First period of game six. We need this win. Here we go. No goal scored at all. We doubled up them on shots, though. Second period. Oh, my God. Ruslan Fedotenko and Alexander Ovechkin both score. Third period, come on guys, it's a two goal deficit, but it's nothing we haven't come back from. There you go, Matt Duchesne with the first. All right, still tons of time left. There you go, Ryan O'Reilly ties it up at two. Still tons of time to take a lead in this game. 13 and a half minutes left. Halfway through the third now, we come back into this game and we can win this. Let's ride that momentum, guys. There you go, Jared Stoll scores with six minutes left in the third. Four minutes. Two. One minute left. And that is that comeback third period by the Colorado Avalanche as we destroy, well, I shouldn't say destroy, but we beat the Washington Capitals. Unbelievable. Going to game seven here. Game seven. Fantastic. You got to love game seven. Nothing more decisive than a game seven. All right, here we go. First period of game seven in Colorado to win the cup. 
One nothing. We're up. Patrick Kane scores on Braden Holpe. Second period. One one. Oh God damn it! Mikhail Grabowski tie things up at one. We got a big shot lead right now. We need a goal here in the third though. We need a goal. Come on guys. Fifteen minutes left. Shots. We got a lead again. Still, we're still leading them on that portion. We got ten minutes left in the third. Come on, Colorado. You can do this. One goal here at the four minute mark. Do it. Ah. There you go. Tarasenko just under the four minute mark like I asked. Come on, guys. Hold off. Oh, I want to intervene. With 13 seconds left, we're going into this game. Absolutely. We're going to watch ourselves lift the Stanley Cup. Uh, look at... Yeah, they're still the same overalls, it looks like. McKinnon's an 85 overall now, though. That's a big jump for him. Anybody else up? Uh, Ryan O'Reilly, the same. Looks like everybody's the same. All right, let's jump in here. Let's play this game. Uh, we'll put it on manual. There we go. Unbelievable, guys. The Stanley Cup is going to be ours. Uh, unless I let in a goal here, which would be really embarrassing. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't see it happening. There we go. All right. We just scored here. 13 seconds left. Face off at center ice. Ryan O'Reilly going to take the face off. I'll win it. There you go. Up. McGinn. Low shot for a rebound. Oh, and Holtby gobbles it up. Six seconds left in in the game. Oh, we got a fight. I didn't mean to take that fight. Peckham and Riley. Oh, geez. I can't fight. I can never win fights in this game. I find I have a hard time. Over the top block. Especially against Theo Peckham, who looks white to me in this video. I could be wrong, but he looks like a white guy, even though he's like half black. Oh, there, caught him on the chin. He's going to catch me. Yeah, there you go. Theo Peckham versus Ryan O'Reilly. That's really not... It's really not a fair fight. Get out of here. That's What the hell's wrong with Theo Peckham? Good job, EA. Dropping the ball again. Look at him. He's white. All right. Come on. There you go. Across. Low shot. Tip. Oh. And there you go. The Colorado Avalanche have won the Stanley Cup for the first time since... When was it? Oops. Sorry. I bumped the mic. It's been a while. Um, I'll actually check it right now. I'm sure everybody's like, it was 2000. I think it was 2003, wasn't it? 2001, right? 2001. Uh, yes, it was 2001. That was the first. So the first time since 2001. That's not bad. There you go. Good job, Picard. You really earned it in this game. Absolutely. Uh, Stanley Cups. Yeah, 2001. Yep. Got to congratulate each other. Gabriel Landeskog, our captain. Who's going to win the... Pro oh, it looks like Patrick Kane won the con Smythe for 25 points through... I don't know how many games we played, but he did really well for us. I don't know. Con Smythe in my books was definitely Calvin Picard. He was unbelievable in this in these playoffs for us. He helped us out big time where Varlamov dropped the ball. So, huge jump for us. Absolutely. Um, it's the same damn intro. As it always is. Present the Stanley Cup to the Colorado Avalanche. I told you guys we'd go far in this series, or in these playoffs. I knew we would. I knew this was our year. Things felt good. We won the President's Trophy, um, again, for the first time since 2001. And uh, we won the Stanley Cup for the first time since 2001. So, it's been a few years. <laughs> it's been 15 years since it happened, but there you have it. Gabriel Landeskog lifting it. Who's he passing off to here? Um, I don't know who that guy is. I can't tell. That's Cam Fowler. That's Cam Fowler with the cup now. Who's this blonde guy? Myers. Tyler Myers. Doesn't look anything like him. <laughs> at all. Who's this now? Is that Barry? Russell. Chris Russell. <laughs> Third pairing defensive. There you go. Calvin Picard lifting the cup. Absolutely. We might have to give him number one and give Varlamov number two because he's the number one guy. And I mean in numbers on the jerseys, not necessarily like number one, number two in terms of starting backup. He did really well for us. Woo, everybody cheering. Good job. Good job, good job. Hands in the air. There you go. You gotta love it. Nice. Well, guys, I gotta wrap things up right there. I got 24 pucks for playing that. That's fine. Um, thanks for watching this series of the playoffs. Let's hope that this is just the start of things to come. Until next time, I'm Target Audience. You guys have a good one.